These are Quest 2 settings you must turn off. Voice commands is a setting where you get to use your voice to do things such as open and close apps and a bunch more. The issue with this setting is that the microphone is always on and always listening. Usually that wouldn't be a problem, but we're talking about Facebook here, a company known for tracking people even outside of their website, and then selling that data for tons of money. Not only that, there's an option in the Quest that shows it stores the voice data to quote unquote help improve voice controls. Sure, that may be true to an extent, however, there's a possibility that they could just be using that data and selling it without you even knowing. Another issue that this setting may have is on your battery life. The Quest battery life already isn't that good, getting a mere 2 hours of playtime. 2 hours may seem like a lot, but when playing video games, time passes faster than you think. You start at 10pm and the next thing you know, the birds are chirping and the sun is rising. Turning off this setting can help with potential privacy issues and saving your battery in the long run. Turning off phone notifications and notifications in general can probably be the best headache saver for a lot of people out there. Me personally, I'm tired of getting constant notifications while I'm trying to play a game. It can be distracting and take you out of immersion. Turning the setting off can also help with battery life as your headset doesn't have to dish out these notifications while you're sweating playing Gorilla Tag, wasting battery. That's why even on PC, like PC nerds, they also turn off notifications on their computer to help with performance. Having Bluetooth enabled is usually the way to go on most devices, however, on the Quest, it's a different story. Having an external keyboard connected by Bluetooth may not be the right choice while sweating profoundly at Gorilla Tag or Beat Saber because it's honestly draining battery in the background without you even noticing. And if you're not actively using it, you might as well turn it off because having a keyboard or a mouse in your quest is pretty much useless as it's used for gaming 95% of the time, I guarantee you. So if you go ahead and turn it off, it can save tons of battery and it's not like you're going to use it anyways. And it's the same reason why you see people turning off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi when their phone is at like 1% to get as much battery life as they can. Meta has implemented so many cool features on the Quest, and the coolest among them being hand tracking. Although this feature may be super cool, I actually recommend turning it off and here's why. The feature is cool, however, it's only cool in the games that implement them, and that's if the game implements it. Let's face it, most games don't even consider adding a hand tracking feature. I can list the amount of games that has hand tracking with only one hand, and that's a little ironic. It's sad that they don't even think about adding this really cool feature feature because if I'm going to be honest, hand tracking makes me feel so much more immersed into the game. Elixir on the Quest is a Harry Potter-like witch game where you can only use your hands to do super cool things. In that game, I truly feel like I'm there, using my real body to move around while also using my hands to create new potions or effects. You can even have cool Wolverine claws. However, in this day of age with the Quest, the bad outnumbers the good. Since most games don't even use hand tracking, it's best to just turn it off to save battery life since you're going to need that battery life anyway. Anyways, Space Sense is a very cool feature, allowing you to see what's going on in the outside world while you're playing Beat Saber. This feature has purple outlines of people and objects around you to prevent you from hitting them and even stepping on a cat. However, that's where the positives end, and the Space Sense itself isn't all that great. It's very buggy and unpolished, leaving most players very angry with this setting. Players also claim that it's incredibly distracting to have, one person even saying, thank god it's inexperimental. As of recent, Quest 2 users have been reporting a bug that prevents them from even turning this awful feature off having to go to the oculus community forums to search for answers space sense is not only annoying but wastes precious battery life as well if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and also check out this video of apps that actually changed my life